Hey friends, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. Guess what time it is? It's time to start thinking about Thanksgiving. So today we're making our Thanksgiving dressing. During the intro, please hit subscribe, hit that little bell notification, select the word all so you don't miss anything. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so yes, it's not quite Thanksgiving yet, but it's right around the corner. And I wanted to get some of these videos out to you early this year so you have them ahead of time. I know in my previous, my much older video on dressing, I don't think I mentioned what temperature to bake it. I don't think I remember saying what time. So I've had a lot of questions through the years about that one. So it's time to make a new video anyway. So that's what we're doing today is we're making our Thanksgiving dressing. And I don't know why we wait till Thanksgiving to have dressing. You can have that anytime. In fact, since I'm doing this video early, I thought I need something good to go with this dressing. So I am cooking a whole chicken in my crock pot, no less. Easy, wonderful way to cook a whole chicken in your crock pot. Delicious. I seasoned it up just like I would a turkey. I used sage, salt, pepper, poultry seasoning, onion, celery, stuffed it all in there and rubbed it all down good, put a stick of butter in there and let it go. No water, nothing. So we're going to have a great chicken dish to go along with our dressing. So let me assemble all my ingredients. I'll meet you back right here and we'll get started. Okay guys, so the first thing let's do, let's just get this out of the way and done, is I'm going to take my Pyrex dish here, 9 by 13 and just give it a good spray. That way it's ready, it's done, I don't have to worry about that anymore. The oven is preheating to 350, so 350. Now what I've done was I have baked what we call hypocrite biscuits. Do you know what hypocrite biscuits are? They're canned biscuits. If you've made homemade biscuits the night before, by all means, use your homemade biscuits. Um, I didn't have any homemade biscuits made last night, so I just used a can of hypocrite biscuits. I've already crumbled up most of them. Um, you can, I mean, it's up to you how many of them if you use. I'm gonna save one and a half over there because uh, Bryant likes to put he hasn't splurged much lately, and he likes to put mayonnaise and cheese on a biscuit. And so I'm gonna save him a couple, or one and a half over there to do that with. So, I've just crumbled up the bread. It's best if you bake this bi the biscuits the day before, but I didn't get to. So, now let me talk to you just a minute. I have always, before I married into Bryant's family, always made cornbread dressing. And so just like the biscuits you make the night before, you'd make a cake of cornbread and maybe use half of it or whatever in your dressing. Um, that's the way I always made it. It's the way my mama always made it. But Bryant's family does not use cornbread. And believe it or not, I actually like theirs better. But it's pretty similar to cornbread. I mean, it kind of is. You're just going to use a bag of the blue Pepperidge Farm herb stuffing. So, if you want to use cornbread, just omit this. Use your cornbread and just season it a little heavier than what you would use in this. So, I've got my biscuits in here. And now, I don't have a stirring spoon. I gotta get me a stirring spoon. We're going in, I may need a bigger bowl. I usually use a bigger bowl. In fact, I have a feeling I'm going to. In fact, let me just transfer this real quick to a bigger bowl because I don't want to add anything else to it for it to overflow. So let me grab one of my big stainless steel bowls. Okay guys, I've transferred over to my stainless steel bowl. I've mixed in the Pepper's Farm. There's the biscuit crumbs in there. Okay, so in this bowl here, I have five eggs that I've cracked and kind of beaten up a little bit. So we're going in there with five eggs. 
We're also going to go in with half a stick of melted butter. Um, I chopped up one cup of celery and uh, one medium onion. Now, normally I would saute this up, but right now I'm, I'm going to um, leave it raw. Since I'm leaving it raw and not sauteing it, I cut it a little finer than I would normally because I don't want to bite into a big chunk of raw celery, so I cut it up pretty fine. I mean, it's going to cook, but usually I do saute it, but we're not today. All right, I'm just going to stir this as we go. Okay, now let's talk about meat in your dressing. You do not have to use meat in your dressing. Uh, my family likes it in there, and so I normally, on Thanksgiving, buy a rotisserie chicken just for put tearing apart and putting in my dressing um, the other day I cooked up some chicken breast and I saved some in some broth but mr. Bryant has been nibbling on it so um, I'm not sure how much we have but I'm going in with that um, it's really not a lot so maybe if I, I do have some chicken breast left over you would normally want more than that, but that's all we're going to put. Okay, let me grab my can opener. We're going to go in with, we're going to start with half a cup of, or half of a can of evaporated milk. So we're going to start with half of a can. And we may add the whole can before it's over. Okay, I think the video was turned the wrong way, so I'm going to have to do some editing. But anyway, so, and you can see this is still pretty dry. Um, so, we're going to add in, and that was a little bit of chicken broth in that chicken I added. Um, I'm going to add in a can of cream of chicken soup. I haven't put the evaporated milk in yet. Bryant called and got me distracted. <laughs> He is out with some fellas from church going fishing, and I love it. I'm so excited for him. He deserves a day off. Okay, so I'm going to go in with half the can of evaporated milk, and we will more than likely use all of that because you want this good, and, I mean, it gets pretty wet. <laughs> It's good and wet. All right, so now that we've gone in with that, let's start with some chicken stock. Now, I do this by sight, so I poured this in a measuring dish so we could decide exactly how much I use. But that will change because, all right, my biscuits were today's biscuits. They weren't a day old, so that they're not as dry. So you just pretty much have to go by the look of your dressing. Okay, so I'm gonna start. That was probably a cup. And you're gonna let it sit for a little bit. I mean, you're not long, but you know, you're gonna let it soak up that. You wanna mash up them biscuit pieces. If you can get those biscuit pieces smaller that's good too. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the evaporated milk. I usually alternate between the the broth and the milk. All right, while it's soaking up some of that liquid, let's go ahead and season it up. I'm gonna go in with a tablespoon of sage. 
I love my dressing to be really sagey. <laughs> so we're also going to go in with some black pepper. Now you can do this to taste. That's probably half a teaspoon. And you definitely want some salt. And that's probably a teaspoon. All right, now let's mix that all up. You see, this is really good and moist. But it wouldn't hurt to add just a little bit more chicken stock. Just a little bit more. It's about a perfect texture. And I'm gonna see if I can hunt up some more chicken. I think I have some more in the refrigerator. And that looks pretty good to me right there. Do you see the consistency? It gets jiggly. It's, and it's pretty, I mean, it's wet, but it's not, it's not a soup. Like, I can't pour it like a soup. It still clumps, but it's, it jiggles. I don't know how to describe this, but y'all can see. It kind of is the consistency of a thick oatmeal. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can find some more chicken, and then we'll get this in the oven. Okay, y'all, so no more chicken. No more chicken, but it's time to pour this up and get it in now. If I can do this, these big old bowls and my little short self. Oh, y'all, this is going to be so good. Okay, another thing that my mama put in her dressing that... I don't think Bryant's family puts in theirs, or I've never done it since I've been in their family, but I always did before, and it's, it's going to sound really odd, but it is really good, but you can put boiled eggs in your dressing. Just chop them up, boil you some eggs, chop them up. I didn't have any eggs boiled this morning, and I've got a lot of cooking to do. i got to cake to make for a wedding um, this week and so I didn't want to go through all of my eggs and I knew this called for five. Now I actually like mine a little thinner than this. I mean thick wise. Um, but we're going with this. All right. This is going to be delicious. Now talking about boiled eggs, what Bryant's family does do is they put boiled eggs in their gravy. So, isn't it funny the different things different families do? Okay, so there we go. It's, can you hear it? It's, you can definitely tell it's very moist. Very, very moist. So, we're going to check this in an hour. It may take a little bit more. I may check it about 45 minutes because it may take more. It may take less. Um, but we're going to get this in the oven, 350, approximately an hour. Start checking it before the hour is over, and then it may take, it may need to go longer, depending on how thick, how moist you got it, because you can dry it out just by cooking it. So if, if by chance you got too much liquid, just keep cooking it longer. So anyway, it's going in. I'll see you when we come back. While we're waiting for it to cook, let me tell you one more thing. You saw that I used um, I used chicken broth. Um, however, if you're doing this on Thanksgiving Day, this is a great place to use some of your turkey drippings. If um, if your turkey has plenty of juices in it, you can definitely use those juices for the dressing, and it just makes it that much more wonderful. So, and with the meat in it. I said, I always buy rotisserie chicken. What you could do is the smoked turkey wings. 
uh, the smoked turkey legs that they sell, you could do those and um, tear them apart and put them in there and then you have turkey dressing. So this can go so many different ways. Um, you can do all sorts of things to your dressing. Um, and by all means, if you like cornbread dressing, uh, believe it or not, I was raised on cornbread dressing, but I actually prefer this dressing. Um, in fact, um, when we, when I first was in the family, Caroline, anytime at Thanksgiving, they sent her home with tons of the dressing because she loved it so much. And, um, so now I make it and I make it the way they did. And I actually prefer it that way as well. But I know old school, old Southern way is to make that cake of cornbread. And by all means, you can do that. Just leave out the Pepperidge Farm herb stuffing and add more seasoning, add more sage, add more salt, add more. You might want to add some poultry seasoning. You can add all sorts of things to make up for that. And you might need a little more liquid with the cornbread um, than you do with this. So it's you can, you can do anything you want. And, um, but the eggs, the evaporated milk, the chicken broth and the cream of chicken soup just gives it, just sends it over the top. So, all right, we're waiting for it to come out and we will be back as soon as it is and we can taste it. Okay guys, look what just came out of the oven. Is that not absolutely beautiful? And I did just like I would do a cake, uh, just grab the nearest knife or toothpick or whatever and I just cut it to make sure. Now that you're gonna have some places, like there's a little bit right there on the knife, but it's still cooking and setting up, so it is done. Yeah. Yep, we are done. So I'm gonna give it a little while and then we'll give it a taste. We're just gonna let it sit here and hang out and we'll taste it in a little bit. Okay, y'all, here it is. Does that not look, look, does that not look delicious? <laughs> look there, it is still so moist. But look at those pieces of chicken. Oh my goodness. Brian's not here to give this a taste test. Now, I can't eat all of this because it's, I dropped the fork on the bar. So I just need to pick it up right there. Um, I may eat all this. I'm not supposed to eat all this, but I might eat all this. Y'all, I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I am so ready. What you see inside where I just... Oh, goodness. Mm. All right. Here goes nothing. Look at the pieces of chicken in it. You don't, like I said, you don't have to put the meat in it, but... Mm, 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 mm. Oh my goodness. One more bite. Because it's that good. Oh my. Y'all. That dressing is so good. Now I did end up leaving it in the oven for about an hour and a half. Um. I think because I, I'm a, I think I use a bigger pan. That's a nine by thirteen, but I think I have a bigger one than nine by thirteen, or I divide it up into two pans. But mine's usually a little thinner than that, and so I did have to cook it about an hour and a half. Um, so you just keep checking it, and and then if you cut into it, and it looks a little gummy. Now I mean it's still very moist. I mean you can see. You can see that it's very, very moist, but if it's like soupy moist, you may want to uh, put it back in the oven. But, oh my goodness, that is so good. And like I said, for supper, we've got roasted chicken. Well, not really roasted, it's in the crock pot. But it's a whole chicken, and we're gonna have green beans, and I don't know what else. We're having dressing. So, there is your Thanksgiving dressing for this year. Be sure if you give it a try to let me know how it turned out for you. 
like I said, just keep checking it and you will want to cut into it to see. And let me tell you what else I did. Once I was ready, I just turned the oven off and left it sitting in there to finish kind of drying up any of the, the soupy parts. Um, so you definitely want to get it moist enough when you go in, but either cook it in a, where it's thinner or um, just leave it in the oven for probably an hour and a half. So, um, I don't know how to put that in the, in the instructions, like how much. Um, so, yeah, you kind of have to just keep checking. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I hate Bryant's not in this video, but he is having a well-deserved day off and hanging out with some wonderful friends. And so, yeah, he needs this day. And so, I appreciate you hanging with me and keeping me company. So, until next time, remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.